Ladies and gentlemen, head coach Troy G. Ward. Well, Troy, as, as opposed to recent games on home ice, uh, just a little bit more trouble generating the shots and the looks that you guys have had uh, recently. Just, just curious as to your general thoughts on on the game tonight. Uh, general thoughts were I thought we were okay to start. Um, you know, we were we were pretty good for a little while there, and then when after the five on three, I didn't like our posture in the five on three at all. Like those guys are weren't special. Usually they're pretty special. Our special teams are decent in most games, especially our power play, but they weren't very special. We didn't generate much there, and I thought that inevitably cost us, even if we would have got a push, whether we would have scored or not. Um, and that was one of the first telling signs that we were starting to, you know, you know, fall off the map a little bit. Uh, the, the power play, yeah, maybe not special in that moment. And, and then the second and third period, you guys didn't really have a look on the power play. And I mean, that's been such a big part of your success. I mean, how important was it, I guess, for, for the opposing team, maybe just to keep you guys off the power play? And maybe, yeah, I yeah. think it was real important for them. Obviously, you know, our power play has been going good here most of the first half of the year. So I thought it was really important that, um, you know, we get on the power play, but we didn't have enough, uh, enough things going, enough players, you know, we had a lot of empty seats on the bus. As the game wore on, it got worse. It was like, you know, I don't know, Abbotsford's a decent-sized city. We had a lot of bus stops, and a lot of guys got off. By the time we got back to here, it was a pretty empty bus. So that's just the way it went tonight. I mean, uh, turbulent day in the organization today. I mean, to, to what extent do you think that, or did you sense that maybe that affected the, the, the group uh, mentally? Mm, I'm not so sure. No, I'm not so sure if it did or not. I, I can't speak on behalf of the players. Um, it's not something we really talked about today. Um, we really focus on just things we can control, and we talked about how we wanted to play tonight. We made some adjustments in how we play, wanted to play. Um, that was mainly our focus, but I can't speak on behalf of the players whether I felt that you know, the events of the day changed their, their thought process. Um, I thought we changed our own process as the game went on, most, most definitely. That was the most damaging. Uh, the linesmen became a part of the game where we were off sides a lot. We missed a lot of pucks. Um, so I thought we kind of we kind of sabotaged ourselves as the game went on. Not so much anything else today. Sure, in that third period, they kind of locked down the neutral zone and you know, played the trap a little bit. How frustrating is that for you as a coach to play through that? That uh, wasn't too bad. Um, like we've addressed that. You know, to be honest with you, I, I you know, then we just got to get pucks behind him and go to work. It's just uh, we're at a point where. <coughs> As I just mentioned, we were just really trying to struggle to kind of grasp for air. We changed our our posture a little bit here and there. We changed the lines up in the third period, shortened the bench a little bit, just to try and get some rhythm going for the guys that we had that we decided to go with, and you know, it just didn't work out. It was uh, you know unfortunate, but that's just part of the process at the American League level. Obviously, not uh, not not easy to see colleagues lose their jobs. I, I, I'm just curious what it's like to work through a day like today uh, from your perspective. Well, to work through a day like today is um, is what I what I get paid to do. Like regardless of the outcome of the day and how it relates to personnel, whether it's players or my management team or things like that. Like you know, we all get paid to do a job, and you, know, you just stay on task. You obviously have a lot of emotions um, for the people that you worked with, um, and you feel for those individuals. Um, but yet, um, I think it's what they would want us to do as a group today, which was to forge on and, and try and um, make the past proud, like all the things that they did well for the organization. So it was just to stay on task, try and make them proud, um, but yet uh, be sensitive and be caring to the, the situation at hand. Short road trip before the Christmas break. I mean, what do you guys got to really do to keep your guys' mind in the games before you guys split off? Well, I don't know if we have to do much now based on tonight. Um, that was disappointing. Like that's just not the way our team usually performs. So um, I would say right now, um, you know, Rocky's going to catch the chicken. If you've ever seen that movie. Troy, did you have a lot of dealings yourself with Jay? Uh, yeah, through through my time in the organization. Um, yeah, I had a lot of times with Jay. Yep. Did, was this? Expected or completely right out of the blue for you, from from your own personal view. My own personal view? No, it was uh, it was unexpected. Um, you know, Jay and John are good people. Um, uh, we understand the, the the transactions that can happen when we get into this business, whether you're a coach or in management. Um, I'm proud to have both of them as friends. I'm hopeful and excited about their futures in the game. Um, 
I'm also respecting our management. Our management team decided to make a change, and obviously there's a lot of experience in our management team up there, and they felt the change was needed, and that's just the business. So um, we just move on to the next day and um, take the next step, whatever that is, with, with the organization and which direction they want that to go, and you know, wish the other two as, as friends and as colleagues all the best. With what Brian said today about players that have, have not played for a while, and getting extra size. <clears throat> if the players filter down and come down to your organization, you're teaching all over, and then some of your players move out, possibly up to Alaska. How, how difficult is that going to be for you as a coach? Uh, I really don't know. I don't know what's what's going to happen. I, I mean, I don't know. Like uh, w management to make the decisions they make. We'll coach whichever players they get uh, they give to us. I understand that we get the bottom 23. They get the top 23. I think that's pretty clear, at least in their eyes, which guys belong where they belong, and uh, we'll let those guys make those decisions, and, and the process will continue down here, regardless of whether we have players from Alaska or Calgary or just the guys that we've had all year. We'll just stay with the process and just stay with uh, teaching and hopefully make uh, young men's dreams come true where we put them in the National Hockey League. So we'll just stay with that. Next question. Sven Berchi uh, on his way down here. Uh, just what are your just general impressions of where he's at in his development uh, coming down here, and, and what uh, yeah, just just the areas that you need to work on with him to make his uh, you know dreams of being that NHL guy come true. Well, Sven has been a part of our past. Obviously, last year during the lockout, he was here, um, had a real good start, then got a little banged up injury, then got himself healthy and found himself in the National Hockey League the rest of the year. So. We have some good traction with Sven. I uh, look forward to working with him. It's our job to get him back on track and, and um, you know, I'll wait for some direction from up above as to what they feel that him coming down. I haven't had these conversations, so I don't really know um, what they feel needs to be done and what needs to be um, put in place for Sven to go back up at some particular time, whenever that is. But we'll work on that. We have a good relationship with Sven. Uh, I thought Sven was good to the Heat organization while he was here, and we'll look forward to working with him. And uh, I'll wait to see the direction they want us to go and, and where they're at. But, uh, you know, I I haven't spoken to Sven yet. Um, but, you know, we'll look at the whites of his eyes tomorrow, hopefully on the ice, or excuse me, on Saturday at practice, and we'll get him going again. And I, I'm excited about that because he's a, he's a good man. Drew McKenzie, was was that uh, he was assigned to Alaska today? That yeah, Drew made. McKenzie yeah. was assigned to Alaska today. Um, we just have a log jam back there and then tell management makes the next decisions, whatever they feel is in the best interest of obviously Calgary and Abbotsford. We'll wait to hear from that, and then I'm sure there'll be some more changes ahead. And let's take those day by day. Great. Thanks, Troy. Thank you.